you, you, you got questions? Jay Wayne got answers. It's the Jay Wayne Q&A show. <laughs> Jay Wayne, trading in pay. Jay Wayne, he got the answers q and Jay Wayne. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Hey, welcome to the Jay Wayne Q and A show. What's up? What up, Jay? Hey, I'm glad you figured that audio out. Hey, look, if you had one question for me, what would it be, man? I got you. What three confirmations do you use? Uh, what would you, what three confirmations would you use for a beginner trader? Okay, okay, three confirmations. Because I, um, I like I like scap. I'm like on a 30 minute, I guess you would say. Oh, so you 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 mat you like you that super scalper then? Okay. Okay, so you gotta, you gotta, um, if you, okay, so you're, what's your higher time frame that you're gonna go up to? The 30? Uh, usually I look at the one and sometimes the four. Okay, okay, then. So let's go. Which one are we gonna go with? Pick one, the one or the four? Which one? Uh, let's do the one. Okay, so mm -hmm. on the one hour, that's where you're gonna like mark up some like support and resistance type of things. All right, and on the one hour, um, that's what you're going to be looking for. Um, you're going to be looking for if it's trending. Okay. You're going to be looking for if it's trending up or down. You're, you're trying to identify that on the one hour. Okay. okay. Um, then you're going to go down to like a 30 minute and then you're going to start fine tuning those zones or those, um, those lines or trend lines or patterns. You're going to start fine tuning it on the 30 because you're a scalper. And then which oh let me unmute you what's your entry time frame go ahead and unmute you got to unmute it unmute it real quick can you hear me now yeah what's your entry time frame uh usually what i've been doing now i've been going in on the 30. at first i started looking at the four and the one and then i would go to the 15. but lately i've been doing the 30 and i've been actually winning most of my trades okay okay so cool. Let me finish answering you then. <clears throat> so if you're entering on a 30, bro, then you need to be like on like the four hour doing everything that I told you to do on a one hour. You need to be higher than that because your entry is on the 30. The hour is just one time frame up. It's too tight. It's too tight. So you, if you enter it on a 30, you need to broaden up your, your markups. So I would be looking at really for me, I would look at the daily. And looking at the overall direction, and on a four hour, I will start marking up that stuff, like finding patterns, finding wedges, finding head and shoulders, finding trend lines, whatever, right? Then you're gonna go to like um, the hour chart and and fine tune those lines, whatever you you found, right? And then on a thirty, um, you're you're waiting for your entry, you're waiting for price to get to those areas, you know, um, if it's like a wedge pattern, you're waiting for that that triangle to be broken on a 30 and you and you pull the trigger, you go for it. Boom. And then the last the last confirmation, bro, is make sure that the 50 moving average is is if you're looking for a sale, make sure that 50 is, is in the seller's market. Make sure price is in the seller's market on with the 50 moving average. Um, for an example, behind me. Um, if you look behind me. You see prices underneath, prices underneath the 50. So that's what you want to see. You want to see price underneath the 50 on your entry time frame so you can ride that momentum down. All right. So that's what you want to, that's the confirmation, bro. So this, this, if, if you didn't write it down, this video is recorded and you can play, play back what the confirmations were, but I think you got it because it wasn't that many, but I will start at the uh, four hour mark find my patterns or whatever and then on that 30 minute i'm waiting for whatever pattern to, to for the entry on the 30 and uh make sure make sure that 50 moving average is in position in the right position on your 30 minute time frame yes sir i can't hear you if you're muted but go ahead what you say i was saying cool i appreciate it i've been pretty much just watching videos and stuff on my own and I've been trying to get the hang of it, but I need that extra assistance, so I'm going to definitely jump in. Let's get it, bro. Let's make this money, man. I appreciate you, man. Take care, bro. Oh, yo, welcome to the J-Wayne Q&A show. What's up, man? 
Yeah, I'm doing good. My name is Badru. I'm from Nigeria. Yeah. Hey, yeah. shout out to the motherland. Uh, yeah, it's so it's so nice to meet you. I um I used to follow your channel and I really want to say that I want to appreciate you for the good work because I've I've learned a lot from your channel and I want to say God will continue to grace you so that you keep giving us good content. Honestly, I really appreciate this opportunity and it's a privilege to 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 really learn from you. Yeah, it's a privilege, sir. It's a privilege, sir. Yo. Thank you, man. Thank you, bro. Hey, yep. I appreciate yep. it. I'm here to help. Well, hey, yep. if if you have one question to ask me, man, what is it? Yeah. Um, there's this question I I want I want to ask is that what are the steps to consider? You know, the steps to consider before one identify a highly profitable trade. Before one pick a highly profitable trade, what are the steps that one needs to consider? Oh, like so you said that you said it a little too fast. The accent caught me. I couldn't I couldn't understand. Okay. What are the steps to consider before one pick an highly profitable trade? The steps to consider before one can identify that this is a highly profitable trade to before one delve into it. What are the steps to consider? Well, look, that's a loaded question. It's a really, really loaded question, but I'm going to point you in the right direction, all right? Okay. So the first thing is, what type of trader are you? Swing trader or day trader? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a day trader. Day, day. Yeah. So you got to do top-down analysis. Yeah. You got to start at the daily, find okay. the direction, find the trend. What is the direction on the daily? All right? Okay. Go to the four-hour. Okay. Make sure make sure that four hour and that daily trend is going the same way. Okay. Because sometimes it might be a little bit off. And if it's off, you need to wait for a better trade setup. That's automatically disqualification. Like you need to wait for the four hour, make sure the four hour and the daily is, is lining up right. All right. And 90% okay. of the time it is. Then you need to go to the one hour and you need to mark up your charts on that four hour time frame. All right. So now find a pattern, find like a triangle, find like a head and shoulders, find something, find, you know what I mean? Price action. All right. You, um, uh, pull out, pull out a Fibonacci on the four hour. Okay. All right. And try to find a golden zone. Okay. Okay. So then you go down to the one hour and you fine tune those uh, triangle patterns or trend line fine tuning. Okay. You know, maybe uh, it, it was like on a four hour areas was kind of like off, fine tune those triangles on the one hour chart, tighten it up a little bit, all right? Okay. And okay. then you sit and wait for those areas to be broken. You, if, if it's a head and shoulders pattern, you enter at the neckline, okay. all right? You enter at the okay. neckline and then you go on a 15 minute and hit the, hit the buy or sell button. All right. Okay. So the, to answer your question, what qualifies it is that you went from each time frame and everything was lining up to whatever you saw on that four hour, like a, a wedge pattern, a head and shoulders, whatever. Uh, let's just say, let's just say head and shoulders today. All right. If you spotted a head and shoulders on a four hour chart, each time frame lower is helping you enter from that four hour head and shoulders. Does that make sense? All right. So look, make sure that um, each time frame lower is gearing you up, or it's all it's all making sense to um to that head and shoulders pattern on the four hour. Don't be marking up head and shoulders on the four hour, and then you you're thinking about something totally different by the time you get to the 15. Everything needs to line up. So um, hopefully I answered your question, my bro. I think we got disconnected, but um, hopefully I laced you up, and let's make this money, baby. Peace.